Hi, I'm Bearing. I'm here to talk to you about sound. Or more to the point, good quality sound. A lot of content creators aren't aware of the importance of good quality audio, but it really is just as important as your video. Imagine looking at a really impressive video accompanied by really shitty audio. It can wreck the whole experience, case in point. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Omegon and I were recently talking about sound and how to get the best recording quality for your videos. It's something I get asked about all the time, so I thought I'd use this video to cover the basics. For recording your voice, you want to be using a wide diaphragm condenser mic like one of these. You'll get away with a smaller diaphragm condenser, often referred to as a pencil condenser, but preferably one of these. Condenser mics need to be powered. You can do this by using a direct power supply to the mic, phantom power from an audio interface or mixer, or if it's a USB mic, it'll be powered via the USB cable from your computer. The Blue Yeti is a good mic for recording voiceovers. They plug straight into your computer via USB, and they're reasonably priced at around 140 US bucks. Whatever mic you are using, make sure you use a pop filter so you don't rape everyone's ears with your P's and S's and shit. If you don't have a pop filter, just put one of your socks over the mic, it'll effectively do the same thing. You want to record in a room with the least amount of reverb. The smaller the better, and the more carpet, curtains and any other fabric the better. Avoid large rooms with tile or timber floors, and place a few pillows around your mic like I've done here. They're going to keep the sound of your voice from bouncing off the walls and coming back into your mic, creating reverb. Position yourself around 12 inches from your mic when you're recording. If you're just recording voiceovers to go in your video, Audacity is perfect and completely free. There's a download link in the description. You'll need to select your input source, I'm running my mic through an M-Track audio interface, so that's the right selection for me. I control my recording volume through the audio interface, but if you're plugging straight into your computer, you'll use this slider here to control your recording volume. So let's record some audio. Bearing is like totally fucking radical. Now we're only going to apply two basic but important effects in this video, compression and noise reduction. Compression is going to fill out the sound and make my voice fuller, and kind of closer to the listener's ear. And noise reduction is going to get rid of any hiss or hum that might be on the audio track. Now I find that for voiceovers, the standard program settings for both of these work really well. So first let's apply some compression. When we do this, we'll actually see the audio signal become more prominent. Now we need to set our noise profile so the program knows what we intended to be silent. To do this, select a part of your track that should be dead silent. Then go to the Effects menu, Noise Reduction, then click Get Noise Profile. Once we've done that, all we need to do is go back to the Effects menu and click Repeat Noise Reduction, and any background hiss or hum will be removed, giving us a strong crystal clear audio track. Bearing is like totally fucking radical. So there it is. That's how you get your sound to sound radar. Special thanks to Omegon for the guest spot on your channel. We all hope to see you back here soon, mate. Cheery fucking oh.